Imagine if you could speak a language where you see the world alive around you. Every description, everything you see, everything you look at, everything you sense is described via the language as an action. State of being and state of action. Nothing is stationary, nothing is inanimate, nothing is dead, but everything is alive. Everything in Montana that you see, every waterfall, every river, every pass, everywhere you go, has been described uniquely in Indian languages for thousands and thousands of years. In 1995, no children in this community could speak the Blackfoot language. We set out to research, promote, and preserve Native American languages. And it was a language program designed for children to spend all day learning and speaking the language of the Blackfeet tribe. Daryl Robes Kip, and we're here today at the Cutswood School, a Blackfoot language immersion program that I'm very proud of. We teach young children to speak the Blackfoot language. And amazingly, since we started, most of them speak much better and much more eloquently than I ever did. And we're very proud of our school and proud of our students because they are the workers carrying the Blackfoot language into the far distant future. You come to Montana and you come to the Blackfeet Indian Reservation and right west of us is the Motokisiks, the backbone of the world. It's certainly worthwhile to come to Montana to see the wonderful things that Montana has to offer. But do remember, there's a lot of things that you can hear and listen to, and amongst them are the native languages of the tribes of Montana.